Shalom. Barakati Ha, Barshim, Yahushai, Barshim, Akakadash, all praises and glories definitely do, especially in the times we're living in. Much respect to the apostles and others at Great Millstone and to all the brothers out there doing the work. I say, Shalom. All right, I'm going to title this lesson Blessed is ye that dwelleth in thy courts. In whose courts? In the courts of the Most High. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. So we're going to start here in Psalm 65 and 4. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest. Okay. Now you have to get deep into that. All right. Give you an example of that. Uh, Let's go to another tab. Give me a minute. All right, this is St. John 15, 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Do you see that, people? Do you understand? You don't choose the Lord. He chooses you. All right? And when did that take place? It took place before the foundation of the world. Let's move on. Let's prove that. Okay, and ordained means it was decreed. You understand that? You were commanded, you were ordered, all right? It is, it is, it is law, all right? A decree is a law, okay? A blessing, all right, was placed on you, all right? You were sanctified. You were made holy and separate. Now, he did this to individuals. First, let's uh, <clears throat> let's go to Jeremiah, All right? One and five. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. How would he know you before he formed you in the belly? You know, of thy mother's womb. He knew you as a spirit. He created you. And that's what you are. You are a spirit that inhabits houses, a body. You understand that? Your spirit houses a body, a temporary body. Your spirit, your spirit's eternal. It never dies. Okay? It's the body that dies. And then the spirit returns to the one who gave it. Okay? And you read that in Escalatius 12 and 7. You understand? It is a cycle, people. Every third or fourth generation, that spirit is regenerated, which you read about in Matthew's, the 19th chapter, around the 28th verse, where the apostles who were constantly asking him, when shall be the end of the world, meaning the end of the age, the age of the Edomites, you know, when shall the kingdom come? Right? So, he says, for all those that have followed me, you know, and Obviously, you know, the apostles are saying, you know, we've given up everything to follow you. Well, those that have done that, that have followed me through the regeneration, you know, you all shall sit on the 12 thrones judging, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel and the nations. You understand that? So how is it that they come back to regeneration? Because when you get into the word, Regeneration, that gets into reincarnation, which means back in the flesh. So how are you brought back? You're brought back to the seed of your son. Because women, the daughters, they don't have seed. You understand that? So you're brought back by the seed of your sons. Because that is, you are what your father is. It is your father that determines the pedigree and the nationality of that child. Okay, the woman is just a vessel. Okay, that is you. The woman comes from the line and house of her fathers, just like the man does. All right, or the boy. Okay, you people understand that? And for further understanding of that, you can go to Numbers, the first chapter. You read from the top. All the way on down, the key verse will be in 18. All right? 
But that's the deal, people. You are a spirit first. Okay? So before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. So he knew you before the foundation of the world. We're going to prove that. All right? And before thou camest out of the womb, out of your mother's womb, what did he do? He sanctified thee. What does that mean? To be made holy and separate. That's what it means to be sanctified. Okay? Separate from the rest of mankind. All right? We're going to see that as well. And I ordained thee. See? He decreed. Okay? Be a prophet unto the nations. He decreed, he ordered, he blessed you to be a prophet unto the nations. Did he do this with all of Israel? No. All right, and I'm talking about you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the descendants of Jacob. Okay? So, now let's go prove this. We're going to go to, uh, back to the blue letter here, right? And we'll come back to this, right? Well, let's go uh, to the word, elect, election. So we're going to go to New Testament. We'll go to 2 Peter 1.10, all right? What does it say here? Wherefore, rather, brethren, give diligence. Diligence, again, people, you know, to be consistent, to be continual. All right? In what? In the work of the Lord. In that your work is not in vain. You read that. What is that? 1 Corinthians 15, 58. You, that you are always abounding. Okay? In other words, learning, always growing in this work. Okay? There's no end to that. All right? That journey, there is no end. There is constant growth. All right? So don't take your hand off the plow. Be diligent. To make what? To make your calling. Calling gets into invite, invitation. You cannot walk in here unaware. And now we're going to look up the word election. To make your election sure. Okay? And if you do these things, you shall never fall. Now, the only thing that really oversees this is Ephesians 2 and 8. All right? It is grace by faith that ye are saved and not of yourselves. It is a gift from the Most High, His mercies. You understand that? Okay? All right. Now let's get into this word here to show you that it was before the foundation of the world. All right, election. All right. Strong's G fifteen eighty nine. Okay. What does it say here? All right. The act of picking out or choosing, right? I already took you to St. John's fifteen sixteen. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Okay, and ordained you, right? He decreed, right? Of the act of the God powers, free will, by which before the foundation of the world, so in other words, before the world began, he decreed, he ordained, he sanctified his blessings to certain persons. Now, you're going to find out that a certain person, not talking about the whole world, not talking about multi-nation, but it's talking about Israelites. Is it talking about all Israel? No. Certain persons within Israel, of Israelites, of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? The decree made from choice. See? Right? Choice. Hello? Didn't we read that already? Yes, we did which he determined to bless certain persons, right, within Israel. You'll see that. It's coming up. Through Yahweh Shai, the Machiach, by grace alone. See that, right? And again, it is grace through thy faith that ye are saved, not of yourselves, but it is a gift of the God power, right? 
In other words, his mercies. A thing or a person chosen, right? A person, see, of God's elect. You'd have to be of the elect of the Lord. So you'd have to be of the seed of Israel to begin with, of the Negro, Latino, Native American that are the descendants of Jacob. You have to be of the bloodline of the seed, right? Right? And again, it's the father that determines that, right? Hey, fine. If your, your, your mother is also Israel, great. You know, you got double the dose. You know, great for you, all right? But nonetheless, you are the seed of your fathers. Remember that. Women have no seed. All right. All right. Now we're going to scroll up here and where it says root etymology. We're going to click on that to further get understanding. Right. Again, pick out, choose, pick out for oneself. Right. So this is what the Lord did before the foundation of the world, choosing certain spirits that he chose to put this blessing on. All right. That he sanctified and put this decree on, ordained them, okay, these certain individuals. All right, choosing one out of many, many are called, few are chosen, right? All right, of the God power choosing whom he judged fit to receive his favors, right? Like being in this truth, understanding how to read scripture, Okay? And remember that you would come back into remembrance of who you are in the land of your captivities. Okay? And it starts with that, recognizing who you are, that you are Israelite. Okay? You understand that? Were we once Gentiles? Yes. Before we came into the truth. Okay? And we know who we are because we are Israelites to begin with. We are the seed of Israel. If not, then this awakening would not be taking place with certain individuals, starting with our elders on down. It doesn't work that way, people. You would have to be the seed of Israel. Okay? You're not going to walk in unawares. Okay? All right? So are we going to have Israelites that look like the other nations? Yeah, because we were scattered into all nations, right? Yes. Okay? People understand that? So when an Israelite got together with a heathen woman of a Gentile heathen nation, and he had children with her, those children are Israelites. They are the seed of their fathers. Regardless that they may look like that nation, take on, you know, uh, the looks and the customs of that nation and speak in that nation's tongue, they are still Israel by the seed of their fathers. You get it? All right. All right. So, whom he judged fit to receive his favors, separated, see, from the rest of mankind, so that means he was sanctified, made holy, to be particularly of his own, to be attended to continually by his gracious oversight. And you have the angels for that, because an angel will be assigned to you, all right, to watch over you, or several angels, to guide you, and hopefully that at the end, as being one of the elect, they're going to take your spirits up, into the clouds, into the chariots to get your new bodies, all right? Where we shall all meet in the air and shall be changed within the twinkling of an eye, all right? Now, i.e., who? Who's this for? Is this for the whole world? No. Is it say Edomites, the white man? No. Say Ishmaelites or the Arabs? No. Say Moabites, Chinese? No. Anamites, Japanese? No. Israelites, okay? Is it all of Israel? No. Because the Lord is only dealing with a one-third. Because that's who he's coming back for. His elect. Okay? You got it, people? All right. We're going to end this here. We'll be right back with uh, part two. Shalom.